me see. I'll open the conversation. Maybe you can uh, write something on our conversation. Anybody? Anybody? You can say hi. Are you there? Pahad. Hi, Pahad. Adham. Hajar. And Balushi. Thank you. Hawanis. Hayat. Okay. It's good that we're live. Okay, so as I said, I'm, go, I'm, I'm recording this uh, live session because <clears throat> for today I'm just going to discuss the two assignments or the two exercises. Okay, let me show to you my um, okay, let me share to you my screen. Okay, first let me share to you the Moodle screen so that you will understand or at least you will know how to use the Moodle. So as you see in our Moodle, um, for this week we have the two exercises. Uh, exercise two to, sub to be submitted or the deadline will be after two weeks. So if you're going to click this absolute addressing exercise two, you're going to see that the file is already there. So download that file and then uh, perform all the tasks that was given there. Uh, so let's stop the sharing so you understand, right? So you will have a submit button here because this is a teacher's view, so I don't have the submit button. But also, once you open that link, you're gonna have a submit button, so you just need to you just need to submit. Okay, so let's go to the file. I'll stop this, and I'm gonna share it to you the Excel file. So this is exercise number two. Uh, there are three worksheets that you have to do. Travel expenses, multiplication table, and salary calculation. So this is just very easy exercises. So the first one is a conversion table. So you can see here is a summary of expenses. So you scroll down, uh, accommodation, transportation, food, and others and then you're going to compute for the total expenses so simple uh, simple formula is that you have to convert the euro the euro and uh, uh, swiss i think this is swiss francs i forget uh, what is chf let me google it for a while F meaning uh, it's a Swiss franc, okay? The Swiss franc. So let me go back to our table. So all you have to do is convert this euro and CHF, okay, using an absolute address, okay, or uh, absolute addressing or referencing in your formula. So for example, the conversion is euro. Reals. So you can see the conversion to reals. Let's say one euro to reals. So you have to write the formula here using the addresses. So let's say uh, you have to convert this by multiplying with this. Okay. So every time you get a euro, you will just multiply by two. So since you use a 
an address. So you have to use an absolute address by pressing F4. So that the purpose of this, once you copy the formula to all those at the euro, it's going to be easy. That's it. So complete all the tasks, do this in the CHF, and compute for the total expenses. Okay, so again, the idea of this is absolute addressing. So you have to know how to do that. So for the second worksheet, this is a multiplication table. I'm not sure if you have uh, one of this when you were in grade school, but the idea is one multiplied to one is the answer is one. One multiplied to two, the answer is two. One multiplied to three or two multiplied to two, the answer is four. So two multiplied to two, the answer is four. So you're not going to perform this, but you will need to do the task. Fill in the multiplication table using the absolute reference. Refer to the sample output below. So this is the sample output. You will not do anything about this. It's just a sample. So like three times two is six and so on. So the key here is just one formula. You go into right here in this cell, C5. And then once I copy it the right and I copy it down or once I copy this to the right and going down, then your table will be filled up. So you have to formulate, uh, uh, you have to write a formula that when you copy that to the right and down, that's it. You're going uh, you're gonna fill this table up. Okay, so that's uh, the multiplication table. Now for the salary calculation, it is again described here in the chart. Um, calculate the net salary of every employee using absolute reference. So go to the left so you can see that this is our all uh, employees and then number of work hours, hours work. And then you have to compute the net salary, meaning here. What's the net salary? If you're computing, or this is a, a professional's term, or in, in the workforce, this is how we uh, name uh, the salary that is uh, left with you after all the deduction. So from that, you have to learn how to compute net salary. Gross salary is your main salary, but after they deduct uh, some of this deduction, this is, will be your net salary. So you have to compute. So you are given the rate per hour, the number of hours worked. Okay, and now, of course, we're going to think about how many days you're working and how many hours, uh, because this is already total of number of hours. Okay, so I think you don't have to think about number of days he worked. This is total already. Like assuming this is already for the month. Okay, so hour, number of hours work, you're going to get the gross salary. Here's the formula. Net salary is gross salary minus all the deductions. And these are the deductions. Okay, you have to compute for the deductions according to percentage. So you have to complete that. Okay, again, using absolute reference. The idea is like for the withholding tax, 20% is written here. So you have to use that cell reference so that when you copy and paste all throughout, you have to use absolute reference. Okay, so three worksheets and uh, I'm going to stop sharing this work uh, Excel file. Okay, I'm going to proceed now with exercise three. So, by the way, we started at three. We didn't start at exercise one. Uh, we started at two and then now three. We didn't use or we will not do exercise one. Don't worry about that. Uh, I just chose the most important exercises for us. 
Okay, so the task here is, again, just modify the computation of grades using absolute addressing. So as you can see here, get the 30% of the quizzes. Why modify? Because there's already a formula. Now, I just want you to change the formula so that you can apply uh, the absolute referencing or addressing, uh, which we have done in lesson number one, uh, two. Uh, yeah, lesson one, part B. So just refer to that. And then use the grades worksheet. So this is still the grades worksheet and do the following. Okay, you can see here, insert a new worksheet, then filter those who failed in quiz. So the grades worksheet should have a copy. Uh, and then that copy will have to have a filter for those who fail the quiz. Remember, fail the quiz. How do you pass anything here in uh, any assessment? It's 50% passing. Okay, so let's, uh, is there a question? Uh, uh, one minute, let me just finish. Anyway, I'm going to upload the video. So if you have question, if you cannot see it, I will upload this. So let me just finish the discussion and I'll just discuss this to you, okay? I will talk to you. Okay, use the grades worksheet and do the following. So again, you have to have a copy here, another worksheet. Oh, sorry, sorry. Ah, oh, okay, I didn't share the new file, the other exercise too. Okay, let me repeat. Thank you, Fahad, for reminding me about that. Now, this is exercise three. Uh, it's the same as in lesson number two. Uh, so, as you can see here, these are the tasks. Modify the computation of grades by using absolute addressing get the 30% of the quizzes, project, midterm, and final. So this one, two, three, four. You have to modify that, then have to copy all throughout. So you have to complete this table. So just why modify, you have to change this. As I've shown you in lesson number one, part B. Is it lesson number one? Yeah, yeah, sorry. <laughs> so I have done, I changed this to refer to G5. So when I do that, this 7 divided by G5, then uh, you have to use absolute reference. So again, the idea of exercise three is first use absolute addressing, okay? Now, since this is filter and sort exercise, number two and number three is about that, okay? So grades worksheet, then summary worksheet. Grades worksheet is for number two. Insert a new worksheet, then filter those of failed increase. So you have to use the same worksheet. Okay, you have to have a copy. So how, how many tasks in number two? One, two, three, four. So four new worksheets here. Okay, for only number two. For number one, just fill up the original. Okay, grades worksheet here. Okay. Now for number three, use the summary worksheet and do the following. Insert a new worksheet, then sort the record in ascending order according to the final grade. Okay, so this is another one. Summary, copy, you have to have a, a, a copy of this worksheet. Okay, and then use this one. Sort and the record in ascending order according to the final grade. So according to the final grade. So again, for those who will ask me how or uh, can you give an example, this is an exercise, but I was not short on giving lessons on this topic. So uh, I think it's enough that I gave you the lessons. Okay, now if you have clarification, then you can ask me later on. Okay, I will end first the sharing 
and then we're still going to be live. I'm going to talk to you using the conversation panel. Okay, Fahad, you asked, sir, we can't see it. So sorry, I, was, I, I wasn't able to share it. Now I'm going to uh, just, again, this is recorded, so I'm going to upload this in the Moodle. So let me just stop the recording.